Action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. We're at Vivid Smart Home Arena in downtown Salt Lake City. Tonight, it'll be the Utah Jazz taking on the Dallas Mavericks. The opening tip won by the Jazz as we get started in Salt Lake City. Conley. Chris stops Porzingis. Swats it. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Nothing going here on that drive to Joe Ingles. Now he was smothered and still gets it to go down. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Dallas with the possession. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Draws the foul. And Porzingis will go to the line to shoot two. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. Chris stops Porzingis. He's got two shots coming for his career, 80% at the line. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Jay, we talk about it all the time. The coaches in this league, who best puts their players in a position to shine? And now I give you Quinn Snyder. I remember Quinn Snyder, after an ugly loss to Atlanta last year, really made some changes to their system. And here's the thing I love about Quinn Snyder. He recruited me when I was 15 and 16 years old. He was an assistant coach at Duke. The way he spoke to me really got me to buy in. He taught me that it was about being part of something bigger than yourself. And when you buy into what Quinn Snyder preaches, that's how you end up beating OKC in the first round NBA playoffs. Doncic to Brunson. Nothing going here on that drive. Trying to cash in, and he knocks it down, Jay. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Across the timeline, it's Conley. Leads just a point. To Joe Ingles. Chris stops Porzingis. Sends it away. That kick can block out the sun, Ed. Ah, you've got to get that one to go. Mitchell with it up top. His team up by one. And the finish at the rim. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Porzingis. Not that time. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Conley in the front court. Leads one. Yes, in the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. The free throw good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. It's the Mavericks right now at the controls. Right down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Conley into the front court. Just under a minute to go and what's been a hotly contested first quarter. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Thabo Cephalosha at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 73%. Brunson. To Seth Curry. 
Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. Missed it. Almost a foul. They let it go. Across the timeline, it's Conley. Leads five. Nothing going here on that drive. To Conley. Five to shoot. Gets it in the left corner. Conley. His first effort off the mark. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. That's it for the first quarter. The Jazz out in front. One quarter down. Long way to go. So buckle up. It's wide open. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Both teams came out in the first quarter, and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter, and we're going to have one heck of a ball game. It's Cephalosha with the rebound. Colin in the front court. Up five. Slam dunk. Jay, we're seeing more of the same to start the second. It's called settle for more. Just because a defender gives you space doesn't mean that you need to take the jump shot. Keep attacking the rim. It will open up eventually. Nothing going here on that drive. Seth Curry to Lee. Driving right to the basket. Runners good there. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. It's Jazz ball. Conley defended by Seth Curry. From the painted area, won't go down. The drive, right to the basket. Conley. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful, though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a T. To Lee. Oh, Courtney Lee. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. It's no good. Shot's not going down. The follow won't go either. Seth Curry to Luka Doncic. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. When you're a EuroLeague MVP at the age of 19, let me break down why your game is perfectly suited at the PG spot to be a dominant one in the league. Because Luka Doncic is a technician offensively. In any screen and roll opportunity, he makes the simple read. He's not the most dynamic player offensively. He doesn't have Ben Simmons athleticism, but what he does have is Rajon Rondo vision mixed with a jump shot where he can beat you any and every way he wants to. Doncic. Let's it fly from long range. Won't go for DeLon Wright. Give credit to the D. Conley into the front court. Under a minute to go before halftime. Has a look. Deep two there. Won't go. To right. No good. Defense catching a break there. Across the timeline, it's Conley. Leads three. And Jay, they call the foul. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Tim Hardaway Jr., he's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. First half comes to an end. Jazz had the lead.
intrigue to come in this second half. A one-point game as we resume play here in the third quarter. Rudy Gobert able to recover with the block. Utah with the possession. To Conley. Nothing going here on that drive. To the rim. Lays it up and in. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Brunson to Hardaway. Free throws coming up. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just got to let them play, ref. First free throw is good. Goes two for two at the line. Mitchell with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Conley. Pass stolen by the Mavericks. To Luka Doncic. Beyond the arc for three. Luka Doncic. Marked man. Shot altered and no good. Mitchell with it up top. Looking to make something happen. To Conley. Driving right to the basket. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Joe Ingles. No, oh, I missed a short one there. Mavericks with the basketball. Brunson to Hardaway. Rudy Gobert. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Okay, they're lucky they get the ball back. It's that time. Rick Carlisle going to his bench. Right to Seth Curry. Going to launch beyond the arc. Seth Curry off the mark. Good defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. To Conley. The drive right to the basket. No good. Oh, it looked like he may have gotten there. Another follow. Still no good. And if I'm on the defensive end, this is where I apply more pressure. I want to make sure this guy does not get going in the second half. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. No doubt about where that one was headed. Utah ball. Conley defended by Seth Curry. Shot by Bogdanovich. No good. Seth Curry to Hardaway. Nothing going here on that drive. Seth Curry. To right. Fires the three. Well defended. Shooter shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. It's good. And one. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. And the free throw is good. Three points on that trip. Conley in the front court. His guys now trailing by a point. To Gobert. Rudy Gobert. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. Old school equals high percentage. Dallas owns the basketball. To right.
Conley into the front court. Shot clock turned off as they try to extend the lead. Oh, denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The Jazz out in front. It's Utah basketball. As we begin the fourth quarter. We thought based on this matchup, this could be a one-sided affair. But oh, Jay, this has been a tight contest. Yeah, they got the lead, but they really had to work for it. And sometimes when you think you're going to have an off night and win the game by 20, that's when you find yourself in this league in those dog fights. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Mitchell shot off the mark. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. Ah, no good. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Hardaway to Brunson. Can't connect. Misses happen. Don't put your head down. Let that motivate you in a defensive end. Use it for something positive. Well defended, shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. To Brunson. Has a chance, and he buries it on the step back. Jay, this move continues to evolve since the days of Allen Iverson. It does so much, Ed. When you step back east or west while maintaining your dribble, look at all your options. Number one, a hezzy. You look at the rim. The defender jumps. You blow by him. Number two, maybe a crossover in the same direction you just came from to throw the defender off. Or number three, a raise into an easy jump shot. It's easy when you have this bag of tricks. And when the game's on the line, that's arguably when it's most dangerous and draws the contact. So, Rudy Gobert going to the line for two shots. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. Rudy Gobert at the line for two shots. Not the best career mark, 62%. the mark on the first free throw. Good bounce back. Hits the second. It's a one of two trip. Mavericks with the possession. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Great pass, setting up the basket. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Across the timeline, it's Conley. I'll leave it here in the fourth. Down low for Gobert. Rudy Gobert, three for six now. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Couple of cracks at the line now. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. First one goes down. Fail 
tough to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Mitchell with the basketball. His team up by one. Trying to cash in. Another chance. Rudy Gobert. Four out of seven. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. And he's fouled. And he earns your trip to the line. No, no, no. I'll tell you. The team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reaching fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the end. First try at the line, no good. Oh, he missed on a pair. Now an intentional foul. That'll be free throws with 20 seconds left to go. This is a close game, and possessions are at a premium. That's a good move to stop the clock. Nope. First one does not go. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. The Mavericks signal for timeout. They'll need a quick shot and then likely a quick foul in what is now a two-possession game. Colley into the front court. They lead it. Four-point game. And now the intentional foul. They'll stop it with 14 seconds left in the game. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. Misses the first. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Four three. Great defense, forcing the miss. And an intentional foul here in the closing moments. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference in what is now a two-score game. Too close to call right now. We're in clock management mode. That was a good play. And hits the first free throw. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. It's the Jazz who come away with the victory as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap.